fastest two minutes in sports. That's quick six. The one and only Brian Blakely with us in the hot seat alongside with Grace. Let's go ahead and put two minutes on the clock. And Brian, you're going to get things started for us tonight. Did the Panthers get the higher right promoting Dan Morgan to GM? You know, Dan Morgan is very well respected around the league, uh, not only for, for his front office skills, but also he was a pretty doggone good Panthers player. I remember that game very well where he got 25 tackles in the Super Bowl, a record still. Uh, but I think a lot of things you're going to have to uh, – the biggest thing here is, this, is the football operations. A football guy making football decisions going forward. Yeah, that's something big that we need here in Carolina. Grace, if you are Dan Morgan, what is the first order of business as the new GM of the Panthers? To hire a head coach because yeah. we need one. Gotta get that done. But other than that, I, I do think it needs to be somebody that he has a good working relationship with that can be another football guy that they can be cohesive. Because I think a lot of the Panthers' problems was they weren't using their personnel to their best ability. And I think you just got to fix that and then plug in some talent. Got to put the guys in the best positions to win. All right, Brian, you're back up. Does this hire change who you think will be the next head coach in Carolina? I, I think so. I mean, we all know the offense wasn't that good. We need to hire an offensive guy. I feel bad for Jero Rivero. But point to Dave Canales, who was with him in the Seahawks. That has a, that kind of rings with a lot, a lot of things there because he helped Geno, he helped Baker, and maybe that'll be a, a bringing Dave somebody like Dave Canales in here, and more so now that um, uh, Brian Callahan signed with Tennessee today. Yeah, true. All right, Grace, just four teams remain. What is your Super Bowl prediction, and why do you have the Ravens playing? Because they're due, and they're <laughs> so good. Lamar should win the MVP. He's having a phenomenal season. Everything looks good. I mean, their defense is, is exciting. Offense is exciting. It's just it's their, it's their year. I hope they get it done. Did you need the two Harbaughs? Could you imagine that? The two Harbaughs winning a national title and then a Super Bowl? That'd be... Script, folks. It's a script. All right, Brian. After a rough season last year, do you think the Tar Heels make a deep run in this year's NCAA tournament? I think they get a good shot, especially with this winning streak they're going on. A Baycott I love, but it's R.J. Davis who makes that team go. R.J. Davis is hooping. Grace, last one. Who do you want to see more of during the AFC Championship game? Taylor Swift or Jason Kelsey? Oh, gosh. I like I, – I honestly, I like both of them together. They showed a lot of them together and just, like – they had uh, Jason, like, lifting up that little girl with the yeah. sign to, like, talk to Taylor. That was just – it was just wholesome, but I think a lot of NFL fans are ready for this to be done. So, more reason to cheer for the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, Jason putting on for the big fellas out here with the shirt off, drinking the beer. All right. Like